asking me. I've already pulled some cards, so we're going to get right into your message. It looks like some of you that will resonate with this message are clearly feeling imprisoned, trapped, um, like you can't move, like you can't be yourself, like you can't fly. But guess what? It's all an illusion. Whatever it is that you feel you cannot do, trust me, you have the sword there to cut yourself free, to break free, to get out of this. I feel like a lot of you are going back and forth in your minds, like you just don't want to be here anymore. For some of you, I also get the message because this talks about distance and illusions that, you know, are false. Um, but I do feel that maybe what's going on worldly right now with the separation and the isolation may also be affecting you and maybe someone coming together, coming into union. Um, you may feel trapped. Do the best you can to get out of this energy and free yourself, okay? Open up, open your eyes, because I do feel like some of you have actually shut yourself down due to this entrapped feeling, okay? So let's see what's going on for Cancers for this message. We have the Queen of Wands as the first energy, okay? So let's talk about this. We have a Prince of Swords. Um, there can be an energy here of someone who really knows what they want, who knows who they want, and possibly who's waiting. You may feel like you have no choice but to wait, but to be entangled. You feel that, right? But I'm just saying it is not true. You do have a choice. You can get out. You can go and have fun. You can enjoy life even when you don't have your person with you, okay? Um, I am feeling that you do have a very sexual, passionate connection with someone. Whoa, I just dropped that out. Um it was the empress, actually, right? So I'm seeing two women here and one man. I'm also seeing the hierophant. You possibly have your eye on someone or possibly someone has their eye on you. But there is an energy here of someone waiting for a return. You're probably not married to this person that you're waiting to return to. But I mean, anything is possible. Um, but I do feel that this is a air sign that you want to come in that's possible as well or there's an air sign and a fire sign involved here one or the other okay um you're waiting for this person to come in sorry let me just let that pass Okay, sorry about that, guys. Uh, sirens. Now, let me just get into this because I really, with this energy here, Cancer, this is you. This is you wanting to go towards someone. This is you wanting to say something to someone. Now, you do have a Queen of Wands waiting here, waiting for this return. And I do feel that the Empress could technically be that Queen of Wands energy, but there could be two women that someone is interested in here trying to make the decision who they're going to go to, what they're going to say, um, because we do have the Hierophant here, right? So let's clarify these two energies first, and then I'll know more. I'll know more. So Three of Swords, ooh, hijacked. I don't know why I'm hearing that. Like, you got out of a situation, or you, like, jumped. Okay, I feel like you've escaped someone you don't want to be around, Cancers, Um I feel like it was heartbreaking. You just got out. I don't think you dealt with it, though, okay? I do think that there's unfinished business here with this Queen of Wands energy. Um, but I feel that, honestly, that you avoided the situation and just left, which is really interesting. So you're not dealing with that situation right now. Now, let's see what, and it may be a marriage. You may be involved or a commitment because I'm seeing the Eight of Swords there. And look at how the man has just kind of, if you're a man, turned his back on the situation instead of facing it and discussing it, right? Let's see what the Empress is coming out as. Yeah, so there could definitely be a third party here or someone you actually have your your eye on. Um, I do feel that you want to be single. I do feel that you want to leave another situation. And I do feel it's possibly with this Queen of Wands energy, whoever this is. More importantly, if it's not a fire sign that you want to leave, I feel that it's someone who's controlling. I don't know why I'm getting that energy right now. Um, but someone who's dominating over you or knows how to dominate you, okay? And you have two women here, both fiery, both strong, both beautiful. Um, but one there's passion and desire for, and the other one holds you. The other one has some sort of a lock on you. So let's see what that's about. Because I see, okay, justice. So you could be married and the towers here, right? But I do see that this Queen of Wands energy... Um, Gosh, it's really weird. It's like they have a lock on you for some reason. And I guess it would be because of marriage or some sort of 
Ooh, there's, there's some complications here is what I'm getting. Okay. Because as much as there's a connection, it's over or like there's a separation as well. Let's clarify that. Well, we have the tower card here and the wheel of fortune. It could literally just be that this, this has run its course. Um, but I do see that you want to escape and be somewhere else. You just don't know how to open that chapter or how to go about that. Now let's just get one more card for the justice. Okay, so we had the Ten of Cups. Yeah, and something else has flipped over here. The Nine of Wands. So it really is about a situation that has been held on to for long enough. I do feel that you have kept this Queen of Wands energy kind of um, not really telling them exactly how you're feeling, not telling them that you have your eye on someone else. Uh, just, I don't know, it's very bizarre here, but you're not saying it. That's what I get here. And I feel like this Queen of Wands is sitting there wondering, like, what is going on here? Clearly, there's unhappiness. Um, so let's just see, okay? Back to the Empress, uh, where this desirable energy is, and the Magician. So I do feel that this is who you have your eyes on. Uh, but the problem is, we have this energy here of the Queen of Swords. Uh, and here's the Princess of Swords, too. So someone could be watching you. That could be why you are... I mean, this could be someone has their eyes on the situation, the other person that you have passionate feelings about. Um, so let's dig into that for a second with the magician for cancers. By the way, there will be an extended on Patreon. So feel free to check that out. Yeah. So it looks like the wife here, whoever the wife is, um, is watching. Okay. And I'm going to say the wife, it could be whoever, but it's the queen of wands. This queen of wands energy is watching the empress energy. The one that you want to be with. Now let's clarify you because, because the loves run out in this situation or it's like, it's, it's done. It's, it's over. It's overdone is what I'm getting. Like it's gone beyond its point. Um, and I think that this queen is wondering, why are you going over there? Something like that. Like, what's over there that you want so much? I do feel that there's a strong watching energy here, okay? Let's actually go to you, Cancer. So the tower. Um, What I get, oh, the death card. Like, okay, because what I was hearing was an erupt, like, change. Like, something just changed in the situation and you want out. You may have actually, literally, for some reason, woken up one day and just been like, this is done, I'm gone. You may have actually just left. You wanted to go for your true love. Um, that's what it's looking like. Like you may look at nine of pentacles. You want to be single or go for this single energy here. Um, or it could be saying that you left this other person and they're single now. But I still see that that queen of wands energy is wondering like what is going on. So maybe you haven't really spoken up about your truest desires or what you want. So you're leaving that queen of wands kind of in the dark or behind a fence. Like you're not speaking up here. Okay. But you are definitely like fully ready to get out. So let's see about this connection between the two of you, the what's coming up here. So there's definitely a restriction in getting to this person. Um, you're ready to, but you are tied into another situation. You are, it's a struggle. Okay. That's what I get here. Look at five of swords to the six of swords. You really know you want to get to your true, your true love here. That's what I'm getting. Like your true happiness. Um, you really know you need to get up off of this and like free yourself. Plain and simple. It's as simple as that. You need to get up and free yourself. This is the collective energy right now where there's actually no more strings holding you tied to your other situation. Now it's just your free will and you got to take the power back and do what you want to do. Okay. Do what you got to do is really what I'm getting. So what else do we need to know about this situation for cancer, the hangman and the king of pentacles? So with the emperor on the bottom, this tells me that you may be hanging on due to financial reasons, due to a home, due to property, um, due to something you've attained. But there's obviously a reason you're stuck in the other situation with the king of pentacles and the hangman. You could just be like, I can't free myself. Look at I can't cut myself free um, because there's money involved or there's something involved here. There's some sort of a foundation. What will happen here? Let's get what will happen. 
or where is this going? I guess we could say, where's this going to the four of wands, which is really interesting. So cancer, you and this other person, look at you're both, this card keeps on coming up the nine of cups energy. Um, you're both each other's wishes. You're both ready to come into union, but for some reason, reason it's not happening just yet. We do know about the finances, but you both are actually like looking in the same direction, ready to be together, ready to come together. Uh, however, it looks like the masculine energy here is the one more entrapped and the feminine energy here is the one that's free and like, just like, come on, let's do this. <laughs> so let's see what else is going to happen here. The hermit. Oh, and and the seven of swords. So this is about going within, um, coming to some truths, but more importantly, I feel like, you know, time could be kind of, look at that eight of swords. Time is kind of running and I'm not saying it's running out, um, but I do feel the pause is, is making someone very unhappy and it can be the wife energy. Um, like it's time is running out, something like that. What is this wife going to do or whoever this is, right? Okay, we have a star card and the king of swords. So the wife may actually be uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer that you're dealing with. Um, but what it looks like this person is going to do is probably, I don't know, there's something here with speaking up, speaking the truth. Um, wow, the three of cups to the six of cups. So this is the thing. I get this this interesting vibe here is that, to be honest, you and this wife don't care about each other. Like there's, I don't know, maybe you have past memories together, Six of Cups energy. Um, and I do feel at one point you were very close together, but there's no more connection here. Um, it's really sad, actually. Look at it, the lovers and the Two of Swords is at the bottom, the way that's showing there was passion here, but there's no more. Um, it's time to kind of cut that, right? So we have the Two of Swords came out now and the Queen of Pentacles. Um, I think you and this person both know, you and this wife energy both know that there is unhappiness here. There is no more love. It's really unfortunate I'm getting because I do think you've tried. I do think someone has tried here. But not only do you not have it in you, they don't have it in them. So no one here really wants it, you know. Uh, there's no more ability to work this out. See the Princess of Swords? Yeah. It's like, no, there's no more. So here we have the Queen of Cups and the Two of Cups. Um, this is about a desire to be somewhere where you're loved, okay? To be somewhere where you're cherished, where you're loved, where you're appreciated, and I do believe, oh, look at the Nine of Cups. So that does come back down to this bottom row energy, Cancer. You want to be with this Empress energy. You want to have a new beginning. You want to be happy. It's very interesting, okay? So I'm going to move this into the extended if you want to join me. And otherwise, that's your message, Cancer. Thank you so much for being here.